You want Minecraft mods in 2025. We're going to be going over exactly how to get them, including how all of this works now, because you may have never even seen Neoforce before. If you've been installed mods in the past, I'm going to explain quickly what that is. By the end of this video, you will have Minecraft mods installed and working on your computer. I guarantee it. So first things first, what is Neoforge? Well, Neoforge is the new most popular Minecraft mod loader, and it is a spiritual successor of Forge. It's a split off of the project that has a lot of the same stuff that Forge used to have with a lot of new stuff coming in the pipeline as well. And like I said, it is now taken over as the most popular Minecraft mod loader, closely followed in second place by Fabric. Fabric is a mod loader that's a bit more lightweight and overall just really really good but it isn't as popular as neoforge so we're going to be using neoforge in this video but if you do have fabric mods there's a link in the description down below to our complete fabric guide Lastly, Forge is still around and running and is still pretty good and a lot of mods do still use it. So because of that, there's a guide on Forge in the description down below as well. These are all kept up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft, so you don't have to worry about them being outdated or anything like that. They're always up to date to the most recent version and they're linked in the description down below. How would you pick one of these if you're not sure that you want to go with Neoforge? I would actually recommend finding some mods and seeing what the mods you want to play are using. If most of them are using Fabric, go with Fabric. If most are using just Forge, go with Forge. If most are using Neoforge, go with Neoforge. Neoforge and Forge mods do not talk. They do not work together, so you're going to have to pick one or the other. And again, I would pick that depending on the mods that you want to play. So go find the mods you want, come back to this video, and you'll be like, okay, I know I want to go with Neoforge, so you can follow this video or go to the guide in the description for Fabric or Forge, depending on the mods you have. With that out of the way, we're going to be using Neoforge in this video. So you can go to the second link in the description down below, and it will take you here. This is the official Neoforge download page and full disclosure we will be writing a full text guide on Neoforge in the future and it may take you to that if that's the case click the download button there to come to this page once you're here go ahead and click on the latest Neoforge installer download unless you do want another Minecraft version this should work for future versions but if it doesn't that guide I was talking about that you will take you to is going to be up to date and working you can go to the full version list here we're gonna be going for the most recent version though by clicking the latest Neoforge installer it will then open up this where you need to keep or save the file to 100% safe to do that, so go ahead and click save here. And while that's downloading, how to us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way should you install some mods in your server or something like that and they break. Well, then guess what? Simple Game Hosting live chat support there is there to help fix those mods and get them off the server so your server can actually work again. On top of all that, you can use Neoforge, Fabric, or Forge, and as I mentioned, mod packs, they're a great way to play hundreds of mods at one time, and they're one-click install at Simple Game Hosting, making it super easy to play those mod packs with your friends. With that being said, stop struggling to play mod in Minecraft with your friends, and do it the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH. Nevertheless, with Neoforge downloaded, we can move on to getting Minecraft mods ourselves. There are two popular places to do that, CurseForge and Moderinth. Both of them, like can actually be filtered by the mod loader. For example, we want Neoforge here, and then you have to select the specific game version. Now, at the time I'm recording, that's the most recent version. It could be an older version for you, or it could be a newer version. Select the version that you are playing of Minecraft, and these are all the mods that are compatible with Neoforge and the most recent version of Minecraft in my case, but it could be whatever version you selected. You can do the same thing on Modernth on the left-hand side. You can select your version, and you can select your mod loader. In our case, that's Neoforge. Here are all the mods that are compatible. We're going to be downloading a few mods here, specifically Waystones. And one thing I want to notice here about Waystones is it requires Balm. Often you will find a mod that requires another mod. And in that case, what you want to do is download both of them. So in our case, that's going to be Balm here. I've got that linked alongside Waystones in the description. But if we go to Files, we can check that in another way as well. We're going to go ahead and set our game version and our mod loader, which is Neoforge 1.21.4. And we can click on this file. If we go to Related Projects here, we'll be able to see that Balm is a required dependency. So that's another way that you can see if something is required for a mod to work. When you're here, go ahead and click on the download button and it will go ahead and begin to download, in this case, Waystones, whatever mod, in a few seconds. Once that's done, you can keep or save it. It's safe to do that. CurseForge goes over all their mods before they are basically uploaded to the site. Nevertheless, from here, we can go to files. And then what we want to do is, again, sort for Neoforge and the game version we want. Download the most recent one. And after a few seconds, it will, again, 
ask us to keep or save it. Once we've done that, I want to download one more mod, and that is going to be Journey Map here. When you click on download, it will take you to Curse Forge. And on Curse Forge, the process is exactly the same. Go to Files, and then you want to find the Neo Forge version for 1.21.4. Right here it is, click on that, and then click the download. You can check for related projects. This doesn't have any that are required. You can get this, but it doesn't say it's a required dependency, so it's not required. We can download this without it, and again, you'll need to keep or save it. Let me show you something real quick, and then we'll be able to get these mods installed. So on Waystones on Modern, this is available on both Modern and CurseForge, we can go to Versions here and click on this NeoForge version, and we'll be able to see dependencies, right? So I just wanna show you, you can see this on Modern as well by coming here and clicking on the specific version and there's the dependency. I wanted to show you how to get those on both websites. That way, when you're downloading mods, you know where to go. Nonetheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and I'm gonna move everything to my desktop because it's quite a bit of stuff, and it's just easier to manage there. It's not gonna live there forever. Now, on our desktop, we can see we have Journey Map. That's one mod. Bomb, that's required for Waystones, and then we have NeoForge as our mod loader of choice. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and right-click on NeoForge, go ahead and click on Open With, select Java, and it will open up with Java if you have the correct version of Java. But what if you don't have Java or what if you click on Java and it doesn't work? Well, in that case, you need to go get Java 21. At the time of recording, this might update in the future to a different version, but the version you need for the most recent version of Minecraft will always be listed here. And this goes over everything you need to know to get Java up and running for Minecraft. You may also want to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files on your computer, like NeoForge, and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. Now, at this point, what we can do is minimize our browser and right click on NeoForge, click on open with, click Java, and it will open up the NeoForge installer. All you got to do is click install client, click proceed, and it will install NeoForge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. You want to make sure both of those are closed, and you want to have played the version of Minecraft you're installing NeoForge for. If you're installing NeoForge 1.21.4, you're going to want to play Minecraft 1.21.4, close out of it, and you're good to go. Or if you're installing 1.22 or 1.23 in the future, again, play that version. Once it's on the main menu, close out of it, then reopen NeoForge, and you'll be able to install and get this message. Successfully installed NeoForge for versions 1.21.4. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK, close out of that, and delete NeoForge from our desktop. We don't need it anymore. Let's get our mods installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is play Minecraft using our NeoForge installation. To find that, go to installations up here at the top and make sure modded is checked. If mod is not checked, it won't be there. But as soon as we check modded, there it is, NeoForge. Now, as long as this has the version you want, which in our case is 21.4, so you can kind of see that at the beginning there. If this was Minecraft 1.22, 2.1, it would be 22.1 at the beginning. If that's the case, you can go ahead and click play. Click play again, you're good to go. But if you don't have NeoForge here or it's not the right version, go ahead and click new installations. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then click this version's drop down. Select here NeoForge. You can actually search for it if you want. There it is, NeoForge, and it's the right version for us. And then go ahead and change the resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so you can see better. But we have this version of NeoForge selected. Make sure that launch after install isn't checked and then click install. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has NeoForge, in our case 1.21.4, but 1.22, whatever version you're installing, and then go ahead and click play. It's just saying, hey, you're playing modded Minecraft. You know you're doing that, and yes, we do. So you're good to continue, and now we can get our mods installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and navigate to mods here, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu. Click mods, and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Now drag and drop Waystones, Bomb, Journey Map, or any other Minecraft mod for Neo Forge you want to install into this mods folder, and then close out of it. Now, when we go back to Minecraft, it's not here, and it's not going to be. You actually need to quit Minecraft, then reopen up the Minecraft launcher. By the way, you might get an error if you try to do this too fast, like this right here. Just wait a second or two, and then try to open it again, and it will successfully open. If you try to do it too fast, for whatever reason, it does not like that. But once we have got the Minecraft launcher back open, you'll want to play Minecraft with NeoForge. That could either be the one that was there by default or the one that you created, but you must be playing Minecraft with NeoForge. Otherwise, your mods won't work. Anytime you want to use your mods, you got to play Minecraft with NeoForge. Go ahead and click play, then click play again because we're playing mod in Minecraft. And now when Minecraft opens up, your mods will be installed in 2025. We can check this in a few ways. First, let's go to mods here. We can see that we, of course, have a journey map, waystones, and journey map again, and bomb, and all that stuff. It's good to go. All of our mods are installed, as well as some stuff that the mods add, like Kuma API here was a mod added by one of the mods. Now, those we can also check this by going to single player and creating a new world. I would always recommend creating a new world when you add a bunch of mods just because it makes things easier. We'll do 2025 mods. 
and we're going to go into creative to make it easier to see these and then we'll see these working in game and we will be good to go. So instantly we can tell journey map is active because in the top right it's there in the mini map form and we can press J and click close to open up the full screen map. We can also go ahead and set a waypoint by double clicking, title that spawn because this was our spawn and there we go. We now have the uh, spawn waypoint there as well. What about the waystones mod? Well, in order to add a waystone in, you can, I think you can craft them. I know you can find them a, little, a, lot, a lot of times around the world as well. But we're just gonna go ahead and cheat one in using creative. We've got waystones here. We can go ahead and place one down, right like so. We'll do a spawn waystone, and then we'll do spawn two, for example. And uh, yeah, we've now got waystones. We can go ahead and go between these. Awesome stuff. So there you have it. You have mods added to Minecraft. Now, there is a link in the description down below to an in-depth guide on how to fix broken Minecraft mods. This goes over how to fix mods for, well, how long's the video? I think 18 minutes. Yeah, and it goes over all the different issues you could have. It's super helpful if you start running into issues with any mods to watch through this and troubleshoot and all that stuff. But at this point, you now have mods in 2025. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe for more incredible content this year. Tons of amazing stuff coming your way, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.